Oh guys, let's talk about case study number two. We're going to be producing Qmain and we will follow the same steps as case study one. We're going to give the statement, then the diagram, then data input, run simulation, hope everything's fine, and results. So Qmain is typically produced from benzene, which is a aromatic ring like this, and propylene, which is C3H6 with a double bond. A uh, reaction at very low pressure, so almost vacuum. The plant feedstock is 50-50, and this is per mole, and we have about 80 pound mole per hour. So it comes from a pump which delivers at these conditions the feedstock. The reactor is typically operated with a recycled stream, so that's important. It's, we're going to use recycle of all the volatile, volatile material in the reactor's outlet. So that means that we are going to separate the reactor's outlet, the gas goes back, the liquid goes forth. The final reactor's temperature is not known, so we need to calculate that, or actually Aspen needs to calculate that, and then we need to cool it down to 130 Fahrenheit. Yeah, as I told you, we're going to separate it. What I didn't know was I, we're going to use a drum instead of a columns at one atmosphere so uh, yeah of course because it's a flash is adiabatical so the question will be find the reactor's operation temperature find the heat duty of the cooler the split fraction of the separator so that is compare gas versus liquid uh, the flow rate of recycle how much recycle pounds how much per hour is go you're going to recycle and the product which is this one how many pound moles per hour the mole fraction of cumane in the product that's very important how much actually we produced and our product how much is rich and then try it without recycle and then answer the same questions and hopefully you will get very interesting data now the process diagram looks something like this you've got this reactor you need to cool it you separate it, the vapors goes as recycled, the liquids goes as product. So it's pretty easy. Now let's go for the input data. For the feed, you already know the data. The reactor is an air stock, so you're going to add this reaction. You know that the reaction is one to one, gives you one. So one benzene plus one propylene gonna give you one cumin. The thing is that we only have 90% conversion with respect to benzene, so you need to add it, and it's adiabatical and vacuum. Now the cooler is going to operate at these conditions. Flash drums, you know it's almost adiabatic. Since the final product must be at one atmosphere, then we need to operate at one atmosphere, and then recall that we need to recycle the vapors. Finally, hopefully you have all the input data. We run it and you will see that we don't need the book or to debug because we have no warnings and no errors. So the results and the reporting data you're going to see in the video and please fill here in your sheet, paper sheet and yeah essentially we're done with the results, the analysis please Recall that we are going to do it for the recycled and non-recycled. So we are done. See the video in which I got to in the Aspen. Do it as I do it by myself, or better yet, do it by yourself and then compare. And yeah, I think it's essentially everything I wanted to show you in this case study, guys. If you finish, please add in the discussion board what do you think about the analysis, and if you think it's better to recycle or not to recycle.